Now we have to talk about animal husbandry. As I told you, there are two sources of food. One is crop, other one is animal source. So we are going to deal with improvement in the food produced from the animals and that particular aspect of study is known as animal husbandry. What you see over here, there is a ranch and there are cattle feeding and the first topic that we are going to study in cattle, in animal husbandry is cattle farming. Now you know, our cattle is used for two purposes. One is milch cattle and the other one is drought cattle, right? Drought farming that is used for plowing and uh, other purposes that is drought farming and in the drought labor basically. So one is milch cattle that is used or that is red for giving milk and other one is drought labor cattle as you can see oxes and uh, uh, buffaloes being used for uh, the farming practices of plowing. Okay. Now, when we talk about cattle farming, we have to keep in mind that this particular aspect we are dealing with. And in the case of cattle farming, uh, there is uh, the meat production that is also done from the cattle and that is consumed as food. In the case of milk, we have the condition where we have the indigenous breeds being crossed with the exotic breeds. Like we have the example of red Sindhi that is an Indian cow, indigenous cow. There is an example of Sahiwal cow that is again an indigenous breed. And on the contrary, on the other hand, we have exotic breeds that is Jersey. Okay, then we have brown Swiss. These two cows have been crossed and hybridized interbred basically and they have uh, the varieties which uh, varieties of the organisms or we could say cows basically which have a longer nursing period that means they have a longer period where the uh, offspring is fed and that gives rise to the requirement that is the greater requirement of the milk could be met with the longer periods of sustenance by these cows which are uh, which are met with the survival basic survival categories surviving categories they are very much disease resistance while they have a longer duration when they are nursing their offspring so basically we meet with the requirements of higher milk produce higher yield of milk at the same time the offspring that would result as a hybridization of these cows will have disease resistance as well okay now Moving further, if we have talked enough about the cattle farming, we need to keep in mind that when we are talking about milch cattle, there are two conditions for their maintenance. One being that the maintenance must be done so that the food requirement, their nutritional requirement is met. And the second is that they should be provided with the food that is required for lactational requirement. And when we talk about lactational requirement, we need food that is high in roughage, which would be having lots and lots of fiber. And at the same time, it would have higher protein content. So this is what needs to be met when we are talking about cattle farming. So in the uh, case of food we have roughage high in fiber and we have concentrated supplements which have proteins and other minerals which are required by the cattle so that the milk produced is rich in nutrients moving further you can see this is a cattle uh, yard where we have cows. This seems like an exotic breed of cows and uh, they are well fed and well taken care of and they would be producing lots of milk. This is what you see in the pictures. If you have seen some movies, Indian movies, you would find these cows roaming in the beautiful sceneries where the actor and actress are singing songs. Your generation might not be knowing that sort of movie culture. But this is what I have seen, at least in few songs. These are the cows and this is brown Swiss cow, which uh, this is Jersey cow. That is uh, the exotic breed. Our Indian breeds are somewhat like this. They are not that strong. They are not well built. But yeah, they have lots of uh, resistance for the diseases which might occur. Now, before we go to the next aspect, that is the poultry farming, we need to talk about the disease maintenance that is to be taken care of in the cattle farming and we know that there are many diseases which could be 
caused in the cattle. So we need to take care of the good immunization drive of the cattle which are being uh, reared in the cattle farms and we need to take care of their uh, veterinary health time to time. They should be provided with medicines and they should the area where they are kept it should be kept clean and it should be kept dry. It should not be uh, very much stale and uh, it should not be the breeding ground of insects and pests which can harm the organism. Moving further we have poultry farming. In the case of poultry farming you know there are eggs and broilers which are of prime concern. Now in the case of poultry farming we have the example of indigenous breed being red with the exotic breed. Now the exotic breed that you have to remember indigenous is a seal the name you have to remember and exotic is leghorn. So the leghorn is larger in size we have to make sure that the pottery size the broiler size is smaller they have uh, the whatever crop uh, not the crop whatever animals are interbred they are resistant to the high temperatures they have small size for the chick production desired qualities in the chick should be there and apart from that the eggs that are being produced the the particular um, these uh, fowl which are responsible for producing the egg they should be smaller in size okay their feather management should be good and their food uh, should be the size should be smaller so that unnecessary food is not taken up by the poultry birds basically time to time uh, it should be taken care that cleaning is done proper timely cleaning at the same time one thing is to be kept in mind that whatever feed is being given to these poultry uh, fowls it should be rich in vitamin A and vitamin vitamin K. So basically we are providing a rich vitamin diet to these uh, fowls so that they make good meat in the market the fowls especially. Now moving further we move to fisheries that is the second one fisheries is third one sorry fisheries is the case of animal husbandry where we explore the aquatic resources and we have fisheries Fisheries includes inland fisheries that is fresh water and the marine fisheries, ocean fisheries. Now in the fisheries we have the example of marine fishes where we have example of Bombay duck, we have the example of pomfret, we have the example of mackerel and uh, rest of the oysters and pearls and uh, these prawns and lobsters all these are examples of organisms or I would say the fishery products which are taken from the salt water, marine water conditions. Also there is a uh, branch of fisheries that deals with fresh water fishes. Now in the case of fresh water fishes what is done the pond culture is taken care of. We have uh, marine water and fresh water. Marine water is taken care of by the marine water itself but in the case of fresh water we have developed ponds where we have surface dwellers, we have middle dwellers and we have bottom dwellers. In the case of surface dwellers we have the example of Catla. Okay, Catla is a fish that is a surface dweller. Then we have the example of Rohu that is a middle dweller. And then we have the bottom dweller fishes that are present. Okay. So basically we have various levels in the pond and those various levels are infested by various types of fishes okay now these various fishes are the seeds of these various fishes are brought from the wild and uh, their breeding seasons are usually rainy seasons so it is taken care of that uh, these uh, ponds are uh, good breeding grounds for the fishes this is what is in the case of fisheries that we have two types of fisheries last one is this and this is known as epiculture okay now what is apiculture? Epis is the word for honeybee. Okay. Now we are talking about the last in the epic, uh, animal husbandry that is apiculture that is rearing of honeybees for honey. Okay. Not just honey there is wax as well that is extracted. See the Indian breed of honeybee is known as Epis indica and it is a good source of this is the scientific name of the honeybee. It is a good source of honey that is extracted. Apart from Epis indica, there is Epis dorseta that is the rock bee. 
you have to remember these names then apart from this there is another species that is epic epis flore that is the little bee that you find roaming in the hovering over the flowers very commonly in the gardens and apart from these three which are used extensively for uh, deriving honey there is an italian variety variety of bees species i would say that is epis mellifera that has also been introduced in our country for extracting the honey so this is the italian bee this all you have to remember in apiculture and you know that honey is a good antiseptic it is a source of many many medicines in the ayurvedic form of uh, medicine i would say and uh, this is all about animal husbandry you have to remember that we do cattle farming for obtaining food from the cattle we do poultry that is for obtaining the eggs and broilers from the fowl then we have the example of fisheries and lastly we have apiculture so with this we come to the end of improvement in food resources